Okay, here we go. Uh, this is Vicki. Um, I was playing around trying to figure out different things to alter and I came across um, some poker chips in our cupboard and I thought I would try to alter them and this is what I came up with. And she's quite pretty. Um, put her on white so you can see better. Turned out pretty nice. Uh, it's hard to believe that a simple little poker chip can turn into something like that. Doesn't have to be a poker chip. You could use some uh, cardboard um, and uh, do the same thing. But you already got your perfect circle, and you don't have to cut anything out. So I thought I would show you how I did those. Um, I cut out, I bought some, I got some pictures out on the internet, and I chose these, which I think, I just love these ladies, they are beautiful, especially these one and this one and this one, I use those a lot, um, they're absolutely gorgeous, uh, you just type in vintage lady, uh, ladies, and there's all kinds out there, I was lucky to find one that has a complete like nine of them on one sheet. So um, what I do to make sure I got it centered, um, I do the old school thing where you're going to trace something and I hang, hold it up to the light, put whatever you're going to trace around, put it on, and I hold it up to the light so I can get it centered on and uh, that's how I do it. So uh, I couldn't do it here on camera so I'm going to shut off right now and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, that didn't take very long. Um, now what am I going to do is use my tacky glue, scotch, which I did, was watching everybody and they were using this. So um, i starting where I like to use my fingers to spread things around. It gets a little bit better and you can get it in the grooves better. You don't have to dirty a brush, you just dirty in your fingers. And this way get a little bit more of an even coat. And my sticker on there. Smooth her out. Oh, here's, I'll show you some other ones I have done, too. Uh, actually, push around. She's all on there. Here's uh, one similar to the one. Here's one I did in white. And uh, I took some, um, I forget what I took. I think I took some stickles and ran around and... and uh, waited till that glue around the outside edge and then I just went ahead and put the uh, glossy accents on that. Um, this one here actually is still the same one only the picture smaller it goes inside the poker chip inside this part I painted it black and I put the rhinestone I put the black lace on the back and then I put the rhinestones around the outside edge. Here's a little bit different one Kind of a crocheted lace. Uh, she's got a pearl trim around. I crackled that. So um, there was another one here that I did kind of steampunky. There, no. Where did it go? It's just here. Oh well, I'll find it. So let's get back to the tutorial. There's my spot I should be in. Okay, so I've got that part. And I just move it around the outside edge. And uh, in order to get that a uh, pretty nice finish around the outside edge, I take a, a nail file and I just kind of go around the outside edge of just to get the a nice smooth edge on it. Now if you want to do a a picture in the smaller part of the section. Um, just go ahead and paint your chip whatever color you choose. I used, just used a regular acrylic 
acrylic paints and you won't have to do this depends on what you plan on doing with it see how nice it comes off be a nice crisp edge on it and uh, what I've done then um, to get that covered up I go ahead and put paint paint around the outside edge of it which I don't have my black paint because I kind of forgot what I've done it's just kind of a last minute tutorial tutorial that I was going to do just go around almost there okay. oh here it is here's the kind of look like a steampunk I'm sitting right in front of me and here's that same one um, I just put the painted and painted glossy accents all over the whole thing total different look here was my first one uh, that's what started the whole thing um, here's another steampunk um, from the tattered uh, tattered something uh, book so that's what I did. Okay. Um, be right back. I gotta get some black paint acrylic. thought I was all prepared and I wasn't and I get just get a little tiny brush my stash here I can do it without knocking everything down in the camera fine brush I don't have the best of brushes but they do whatever I need there's a little bit finer point one. That probably would be best thing to do this is when you don't have the picture on. But that's the way sometimes there are steps that you forget to do. Especially when you're trying to do everything in the right order. Especially if you're doing a tutorial you don't realize how you do things on your own without repeating yourself so you paint all the way around now you can paint the back of it if you want but I don't know what what you would why you would want to do that but because it's going to be I'm sure you're going to be laying it up against something we're almost there well, if you're probably doing a bunch of these at one time you could probably do them an assembly line type thing but if you're like me, you get too anxious and you just want to hurry up and create one right away, which is the way I operate. Okay, I had some real pretty, I found some pretty black lace that I had. And so you're going to have to, acrylics dries pretty nice, pretty quick. Okay, so put your old trusty glue gun, which probably is not plugged in. I probably unplugged it to plug something else in, which I did. Let's 
Seems pretty natural for me to sit up here and talk to the camera because I'm usually talking to myself anyway, so. Um, I was going to use a daisy for my center point just to pass the time here. And then I thought I'd probably take away from my view of everybody and confuse them, but I thought, oh, because I laid that poker chip on top of there. Now that looks kind of cute, too. See how things happen. They happen for a reason, I guess. So, um, oh, while well, my heating gun is up, I'll show you a, my little basket that I've got. I bought some of this, finally got some of this neat bling. I was tickled that I got was able to, to find that online. And I got all kinds of stuff in here. This came from uh, Fiona from Jennings 644. You've got to go watch her tutorials. She's back in the swing again. She's feeling so much better. And I have not yet found anything to put this on, but um, I'm going to alter some boxes. So I think maybe that probably would, would look nice on them. And let's see what else I got in my goodie box. I got got the, some of this stuff, which I think comes from Fiona. This here is um, I think it was hairband. I'm not sure what it it was in a box. So I mean they made really pretty flowers with that just by put them on a little round disc and, and glue them in there. Okay, I got oh, some seam binding and lace, some more of the pleated, um, lace like that. I need to use this stuff up. And some of this, uh, I'm not sure, purple maybe, um, Chinese braid maybe, that's what it is. And I've got some of this, the real pretty, I love this stuff. I don't use it very often. I have a project maybe I might think about right now I might use. Okay. Waste enough time on the my little box of goodies. Let's leave that out since I'm going to use that. Just thought I'd show you a small part of what I have. Um, I thought I had cut one long piece of that. I guess I didn't. I will just do this for right now. Well, I could. This probably isn't hot. Yeah, it's hot. Okay, turn her over. I like to start at the bottom. So if you flip it over, depends on which direction you want to go. I do things sometimes backwards than what other people do. I'm right-handed, but yet I deal left-handed. Don't ask me why. I don't know. I tie my shoes. Someone said I tie them left-handed instead of right-handed. I didn't know there was a right and a wrong way of tying your shoes, but, uh, well, that's, whoops, that's the way people are. Okay, now, I didn't gather my lace. I'm just going to gather it as I go. And, just put a little dab, and just kind of crunch it up as you go. I use my fingers. If you don't use a lot of glue, you'll feel some heat from it, but it won't be that bad. I'll just crunch it up. Am I still in shot? Yeah. Okay. And just continue to go around the back, just like you do on anything else. Crunch it. time because you're, especially if you're doing a small dab of the glue, it, it tends to dry faster than what you can work with. Crunch. Now this is the back of your, your disc or your poker chip. And I start at the bottom. Probably, I don't know. Okay. And
And there you have a pretty little lady. Now you don't have to put bling around it. You can put pearls. You can put whatever you want. But I love, I love this stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do another one. Cut this off. Much, but actually, I'm sure I can use it. Okay, I'll start at the bottom again, and just now what we're doing is I, would, I didn't glue it to the very edge. I'm gluing it on to the lace. a little bit just to get you going. Okay. And go around. It's a little fiddly. Still in shot. Sorry. done and you will have your finished decorated poker chip and like I said you can put anything you want on it cut that off where did it go oh there it is still on my glue gun now don't throw those away. Those are priceless. Other than because there's always, I, Fiona said, don't throw those small pieces away because you might need them. And you know, I came across a couple projects that, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I saved them because I was doing a, um, oh, what do they call those? You're doing pieces. <laughs> um, can't think of it right now, but anyway, you use small pieces and you collage them all together and glue them. And some of my little pieces were perfect; they were perfect size for what I was doing, and uh, really liked it. So don't throw away those little pieces that you got. You might think it's too small to keep, but no, don't think so. Okay, now there's a couple ways you can seal this on top. And my best one was the glossy accents. I love that. Now I did the um, the decoupage, and uh, that's okay. I still like the glossy accents, so that's what I'm gonna do on this one. And I'm sure you've seen everybody do the glossy accents, but what I do. And Right now, looks like it's keep the lid on them, but they still clog up. I go around the outside edge because it seems to me that it it kind of creates your edge for you. That way you know you won't go over the edge. I just go go all the way around. I take my time. I'm not in any hurry. I don't have any place to go other than later this afternoon. Oh, 
And once I get the outside edge filled up, then I fill the rest of it. I hope I can do this before my battery goes down. Got another one charging up. It was charged up for some reason. It went back down. Of course, you gotta watch. Make sure you don't get any bubbles in this. Put the glossy accents. Oh, it's really, really super nice product. Time it's on sale, I grab a bottle. There she is, and she will look just like this finished product right there. And I will zoom in. There she is, and there's the one that I just made. Aren't they pretty? I think that's that's pretty neat. I like those a lot. So. There's my um, finished poker chip uh, tutorial. Um, just think of anything you can alter. You can alter anything, actually. Uh, first time, this is my first alteration of anything. I took a, a playing card, and I was I got my first stickles for the very first time, probably about a year ago, and I was playing around with them. And uh, now that I'm thinking about it, that's a pretty neat project to be doing. You could make something with those. You could probably cut them in half and I don't know. All kinds of things you can alter. Alter. Alter, alter. Um, I saw a lady did a um, um, puzzle piece. So I did that. And um, I guess that's right now that I can't grab anything right now without rooting around and sound sound like a dog making a nest but um, <laughs> I think that's it so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I um, find everything you can out there to older because there's all kinds of neat things that you can do and it's a lot of fun so um, hope you enjoy my tutorial and thanks for watching bye bye